So, this is the final video in my series about my electric uh, guitars. Um, I have a few other kind of stragglers for guitars before I get into basses and other instruments, but um, this is my most recent guitar purchase, and um, definitely the one that kind of solidified the idea of, now I am a man. This is a Jackson Soloist 7-string. Um, it's part of the X-Series, which is, I guess it's comparable to Ibanez's Iron Label guitars. Um, I've seen a couple of professional bands play uh, variations of this guitar. Um, absolutely a shred monster. This one I bought used from Long and McQuaid last year. I'm actually still in the process of paying it off. Um, it has a Floyd Rose original. Now, this is the second guitar I've ever owned with a Floyd Rose. And the first one was one of the ones that was stolen in the break-in that I mentioned before. And right now, I have it set to float, and it's um, in drop A tuning. That was a real bitch to do. But... Um, this being my most recent guitar, and but in many ways, it is my best guitar. This is the guitar that is probably going to come with me on whenever I do like my next bunch of concerts. This and my 8-string are definitely my tour buddies. Um, this is the first guitar I've ever owned with a maple fretboard. I've never owned one before. Well, okay, that cheapo. It's not even it's not even a fretboard, it's just a one piece neck. The whole thing is just one piece. But this is a maple fretboard. Um it has this kind of it, it like flame ish burl kind of thing going on here where it seems to change color a bit up here. Um it looks really bad, like it looks like it's broken or messed up or something, but that it's just a it's just a aesthetic blemish. Um, fretwork on it's pretty good. It's a little pokier actually than I would have expected a guitar of this price range to be, but whatever. Um, pickups are Seymour Duncan Nazgul Sentient, and um, they sound absolutely raunch. Um, you've got a three-way selector, uh, tone, volume, um, it's, a, it's also the first ever neck through guitar I've ever owned. Um, this thing is just as easy to play at the 24th fret as it is to play at the first. Um, this has a much nicer groove gear fret wrap. Uh, very pink. I thought it kind of suited the whole you know, blue and maple 80s aesthetic of this guitar. You know, this is like your 80s hair metal shred machine, except it has a, an extra string. Um, it sounds pretty killer. channel is actually remarkably that was the that was not the clean channel it, it actually cleans up surprisingly well for a pickup that's pretty well known for being used in metal probably clipping the shit out of the mic.
so minor minor quirks with this guitar um for whatever reason i've tightened this up enough that it doesn't flop but when you play around with it enough it loosens and uh depending on how tight i make this locking nut if i do a dive bomb and then bend the high e string i hear a little clink pop thing at this end of the guitar but i haven't heard it recently because i haven't been over tightening it so that probably says a lot. Um, this guitar is the first one that's uh, justified me buying a whole new strap in a long time. Um, other than that, it's a great, great instrument. Um, let me just hit that. And yeah, she wails. She screams. She's everything you could ask for in a seven string. Ernie Ball. Play him. Um, so this is the nicest guitar I own, and what can I say? She's beautiful. I love her like one of my own children. Um, I haven't been playing this one as much as I'd like to, but then since I made the bridge float, uh, that's changing. So, and now that I've got this beautiful Hughes and Kettner uh, tube my amp, even better. So there you have it. That's my electric guitars. I'm going to do a brief video on my acoustics in a moment, and so, yeah, as always, uh, go die. <laughs>